engine won't start. <clears throat> well, <laughs> as so often demonstrated, I'm an idiot. This is what's missing. You know, the dead man switch. So this is a dinghy in its ready to lower status and if you look closely down there at the back at the bottom under the seat there's a little hole in the back and that's the drain hole and it's open the plug's not in. Um, when the boat is on deck for a long passage I sometimes might leave the plug in if I want to collect rainwater you know that's kind of one of those it's an excellent rainwater collection device but I don't want it to collect water back here so I'll leave the plug out. But what that means is when I first put the boat in the water, it begins to flood. So I have to be quick about getting down there, jump in the boat, reach over the back without falling in, and put the plug in. So that's my first operation, and it's very difficult to show you that. I'm afraid to use a GoPro's head cam because it slips off sometimes. So, okay, so now I'm kind of sort of ready to go. There's still a little tension on the bow line hanging from the davit, so I'll, I'll release that, which I can do from the dinghy. The plug is in, and I bailed out all the water that came in while the plug was out, and I've got the mount outboard on with my new extender handle, which is undergoing prototype testing today. thing about a very small outboard is that you can just one hand well I do like playing with the dinghy and I am happy that I've gotten the hang of the new outboard but getting out on the big boat out on the water dodging all this giant commercial these private boats um, this is where I like to be and I'll just shut up and let you experience sailing in Bahia de Mujeres.
Nice try. I'll take the reports, Mr. Benigo. Zero five zero. Now we're going to steer zero three zero for a minute. Pick up speed here. Look at three. We are really getting set north. Can't do this. Thank you. 
Thing I learned from another sailor a little while back is that one one clever strategy is to when you're getting ready to head into port just go ahead and anchor the boat and take your time and get things sorted so I sailed into an anchorage here you know uh, I, I have the sails down at this point sails filled up so I'm officially drifting at this point then I work to get the anchor down and then I just take my time I might even take a nap I might even get a bite to eat depending on whether I'm ready to go into port So this is the entrance channel to Marina V&V &V in Punta Sam, Quintana Roo, Mexico. I mean, it's a fine little marina, really, as marinas go. It's not perfect, you know, but it's, it's a nice little place. Very secure, very well built, and I've got no issues with it at all. So I, I had to find some cam going still. So I will uh, get, pop in some pictures here of what it looks like as the water gets more and more, let's say, cloudy. Less and less swimming water. When I head over to the dock 148, that's where I'm moored right now. Yeah.
I, I do like driving boats. <laughs> I can't admit. Power boats, sailboats, dinghies. I, I enjoy it. So it's it's kind of what I like to do. You know, when I'm playing around like this. yesterday and it was an, a, a lovely four hours on the water and I'm very thankful to get the shots underwater. That was a bit of a, an experiment as well, I'm trying to figure a better way to mount the GoPro. Uh, the force on the bottom of the pole is really quite strong and I have no idea where I'm aiming it once it's down there so it's a miracle if I got a picture of anything. Um, so quick update. Earlier in the day, before I went to sea, I adjusted the shaft packing, or the stuffing box gland, or the seal, whatever you want to call it. I think technically the right word is a stuffing box. And it was leaking pretty good when I got back from snagging the rope. <clears throat> it was leaking about, um, about uh, 20 drops a second when I first got in the other day. And it slowed down by itself to about Oh gee whiz, I think down to less than 10 drops a minute. But then when I test ran the engine, it got right back to a drop per second. So it was like, oh my god. So I finally broke down and adjusted the, uh, the gland. <clears throat> and now the shaft is working. But either way, the uh, packing gland uh, shaft seal issue is resolved. And the only thing I have to report as a failure was um, the furling line. Uh, one of the guide lugs one of the guide tubes, whatever you want to call it, broke off. I'm not too worried about it. I'll figure out a way to put that back on. But other than that, we're doing good. I, I hope you enjoy this type of video. Not a lot of me talking this time, mostly just uh, silence and sailing. And I was, I tell you, I feel like I lose 10 pounds when I get out there. So um, I'm happy watching this boat coming in. It scares me. Power boat is always scary. <laughs> oh, he hit the dock pretty hard. Ouch. Hey, uh, so it's all good, guys. I'm very thankful, as I always say. Uh, every day, I'm thankful that I have good health. And so, every day, I'm thankful for um, you know good health and freedom and uh, the ability to live like this. Even if it's not an awesome day or a perfect day, I didn't go very far. I probably only logged miles total yesterday um, but it, it was pretty good uh, I got to put anchor down anchor up a few times sails up sails down a few times kind of shaking things out and that's that's what we do it for to kind of get myself better at what I do but with that I'll close have a great one everybody take care let's watch, let's watch this guy That's not scary. I don't know what is. He's coming closer. <clears throat> Whenever you find yourself using a lot of power near a dock, you're already doing it wrong. He already hit that concrete pretty hard once. Oh my god, he's going under the dock. <laughs>